Good morning, YouTube. Or good afternoon. It's 1.25 p.m. here in Texas. Um, I actually got up early, though. I didn't just wake up. Okay, I heard something. I'm gonna cut that out. Okay, so like the title says, I'm going to do a get ready with me and then a story time. So we'll see. Good morning. Good morning. She's probably gonna be in like every video because it's just those two. It's just those two, right? But anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna go hop in the shower first and then I will come back and we're gonna do my skin routine, my skincare um, routine, just kind of what, oh my God, I just look a whole mess. Okay, so anyways, yeah, I'm gonna hop in the shower, come back, and we'll do a skincare routine, and then we'll hop into the story time. See you then. Hey, everyone. So, <clears throat> I do apologize. In the beginning of this video, I said I was going to do a get ready with me, and all that, and so, okay. I'm not, obviously I already have my makeup done and everything. I didn't do my skincare routine. That's because I'm, I decided I was gonna do that in another video mainly because I realized that I've been doing my face a lot lately and I need to kind of <clears throat> take a break from it and then I decided it just wasn't the best day um, I ended up doing some stuff so I had to do my makeup really fast and get ready super quick and I just didn't have time to film it all out and all that good stuff but this video, I really wanted it to be the story time anyways, about my tattoo. So let's just jump into the story. It's not going to be a really long story or anything like that. It's going to be pretty short. I'm going to sit down. Okay. So when I turned 18, okay, the reason why I'm, I'm even doing this story is because I am about to be 19. So I'm really excited about that. And I think I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do this thing like, I don't know for how long, but because when I turned 18 is when I got my first tattoo, like the day on my birthday. So now I'm going to be 19. I'm about to go get another tattoo, which I'm really excited about. So I'm going to try to like keep it going, I guess. Like every time I have a birthday, I just get tattoos. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. But anyways, and I just, I don't know. I was just thinking about it today, the tattoo I'm going to get and everything. So, and then it made me think like I should do a story time on the first tattoo I got. So, we'll just hop into that. And then, if I don't forget, I'll put a picture in somewhere of the tattoo I'm gonna get this time, which I'm 99% sure that's the one I'm gonna get. So, okay. So, I first, I just turned 18. Oh, and I'll, same thing, I'll try to add a picture of that tattoo. Um, like, the picture of me getting it done. Because I'll show you the tattoo right now. So, okay. I just realized I was doing this and I didn't turn the air off, so I hope that's not too loud in the background because I don't want to restart this whole video. Alright, <clears throat> okay, so just turned 18, my aunt and I were going out to eat and she promised to do this for me. So she took me and of course it's my first tattoo, so I'm really nervous, I'm just like... I don't know what to expect because like you know what do you expect it's your first time with anything it's gonna be just anxiety because you're for me I have anxiety really bad anyways so just so I hate not knowing what's to come or like not knowing what to expect so that's terrifying to me so yeah so she took me to this place not too far from where I lived at the time and I get in, we walk in or whatever, and it's really nice. It's a really nice shop. Um, it was pretty, it was really small, and it had like a really nice vibe. Like I love when you go into places and it's a nice vibe because I've I had piercings done too a long time ago, and the vibe in there was a lot more like <laughs> like I, I guess you could say like heavy metal kind of vibe, like the rock music playing. The girl, she was I think it was a girl, maybe it was a guy. Actually, I think it was a guy. <clears throat> it was a guy. He had like piercings all over his face and tattoos, and it's intimidating. <laughs> it really is. Um, but, anyways, the this time it was a girl. She was doing my tattoo, and she was awesome. She was pretty nice, really cool. 
And so she had me lay out on a chair. First thing we did was sign the paperwork. I just had turned 18, so I, I signed a paper and my aunt did whatever she did. And then I lay down on the bed. It wasn't a bed, I'm sorry, it was like a chair. Like if you ever got a tattoo or piercing, you know what I'm talking about. Just like, like a, it was a black chair and it laid out. So, cause the tattoo I got is on my rib cage. And I'm like, I know it's crazy. The first tattoo I got, it's big and it's on my rib cage and it's a dragonfly. And it has, it says warrior, like written in the tail. But anyways, so, um, and as crazy as it is, it, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. As crazy as it is, I did not pick my tattoo. Like, I sort of did, but my aunt kind of showed it to me. She gave me the idea and I was like, you know what, that's cool. Also, I think it's because I was 18 and it was my first tattoo. So I was like, jumped into it, like, yeah, let's do it. But no, I, I like the tattoo, it was really pretty. And the idea behind it is a personal idea. Like it was a personal um, a personal thing with the tattoo I did have. So I do have a connection with my tattoo. Like, But I, the tattoo I'm gonna get, um, my next tattoo I'm gonna get, it's nothing personal or anything. It's just, I think the design's really pretty. So anyways, back to the story. So I lay down on the chair and I'm so nervous at this point. Like, again, don't know what to expect. Have no idea what it's gonna feel like once it touches my skin. So I just remember like, if you ever had this feeling like you're sweating on the inside, I don't know if that sounds crazy, but I get that a lot when I'm nervous and stuff. And I just had that feeling like sweating on the inside of my body and I was so nervous and just trying so hard not to panic, not to freak out. Um, I definitely was going through with it though. I wasn't gonna change my mind. I was just getting ready to mentally prepare for this pain. So I lay down, I pull up my shirt. And I think I, I don't remember if I had like a bra or not cause the tattoo kind of goes under my boob, just a little bit like part of the wing, just a teeny bit. But anyways, okay, so and I'm gonna be completely honest, like completely honest, this tattoo, being my first and only tattoo I have, like the pain for me was, it was ridiculous, like it was crazy, not ridiculous, it was crazy because like it did not hurt. Like when she first started, like it was scary because like you hear the gun turn on and that's when you get really scared. To be honest, I don't really remember a lot of the process. I just remember um, like I guess like the drawing of it or like her doing something, cleaning and all that, cleaning the area and then starting. I just remember the gun turning on and me just kind of freaking out and then as soon as it touches your body you're just like and okay so they'll tell you um to breathe like make sure you're breathing remember to breathe it's super important because like you think oh yeah of course you really don't like breathe when you're getting a tattoo and i've seen someone else from their experience i've seen them do the same thing and i was like okay so it wasn't just me like i completely stopped breathing i think it's just easier to hold your breath like like that and just like tense up everything and just not move is what it was. When you hold your breath, I guess you get that feeling of like control to um, not move your body. So yeah, so I'm laying there and um, okay, so she starts like tattooing the side or whatever and I, like I said, it really honestly, honestly and truly did not hurt my side. I mean, it hurt, but not bad. Like it was definitely bearable for the first part. And then I don't remember which part it was, but in some area it might be thicker than others like where she, colored in or whatever tattooed it in filled it in whatever she um then it started to get like raw i guess like when you rub a part of your body like over and over and over it just and it like ugh, it didn't feel good still bearable at this point it was just more uncomfortable and i was just trying to i guess the biggest thing was i uh, just to lay there and not move and just because you want to move you know and you want to just like okay just take a break but i kept telling myself no we're not gonna take any breaks because like i just want to get it over with and I, also another thing this tattoo i think lasted 30 minutes no longer than 30 minutes it was it went by like that like it really did it it was really fast really fast and for the size of it it's pretty big and again i'll show you guys in a minute but it it went by really quickly. Okay, now the only part, there was one part that freaking killed me. I wanted to cry and I just wanted to stop so bad. In my head, this was the point where I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to tell her like, I can't do this anymore, <laughs> I'm so done. Whatever it looks like, I'll have to come back because I can't do it. And I assumed, like I'm serious, as soon as I was about to say it, it was 
done she was like okay we're done i was like oh my god thank you so much lord like oh i did not think i was gonna be able to finish it was so terrifying but it was under my boob the, the little part that kind of goes like right under the boob and like i said it was part of like the wing so like that i don't know why that freaking hurt the way it did and i used to want like the tattoos like they go under your boobs like and meet in the middle those kind of tattoos like i used to want one of those and oh hell no not now that hurt bad like i said i mean everyone's different everybody's different so you know if you get a tattoo i'm not saying if you go and you decide you want to get a tattoo on your rib cage it's not gonna hurt i'm just saying from my experience it didn't hurt like as bad as you would think as bad as i would think thought as bad as i would have thought um yeah like i said it didn't maybe like a scale one to ten ten being like excruciating pain like a five on my rib cage so definitely bearable i could sit there and of course i'm in pain like it's a tattoo but anyways but the under my boob was a definitely a 10 like and it hurt so bad i felt like i felt it in my elbow it was weird i i will not forget that like out of all this i remember that the most i just remember like right in my freaking like right there the tip of your elbow i felt like it was like the nerve or something just excuse me like her going under the boob and i just felt it in my elbow just like a nerve and then under the boob too it just i've never had kids or been in labor but I feel like it's like labor like not the pain just like the thought like you don't really remember what it's like like I can't really describe the feeling of getting a tattoo again I do remember that and I do remember the detail about my elbow but I can't remember the pain it felt like or anything to describe it to something else like I can't but it was terrible just that part there like I said and that part lasted maybe a minute a whole minute of just sitting there and finally I was like I can't do this anymore but I didn't say that but I was just about to say it and she was like we're done. I was like, oh my god, thank you so much. But anyways, let me show you guys real quick the tattoo. So it's not like I don't know. It's not like you know amazing. It was my first tattoo, and I mean I don't know how good her work was. I never even had seen her work before. And now getting my second tattoo, I'm like, I looked at a couple different places, and I'm looking at their work because I guess just getting a little older and the mindset of like you know the permanence of this and is really like it sets in and you're like okay i do want something and the whole thing is you ugh, i just okay and the whole thing of like you get what you pay for is so true like i don't know how much this was i know it was like one a hundred something and it was my birthday so i think they kind of got like a discount my aunt i think she gave her like a little discount or whatever but let me show you so it like I'm trying to get in the light so see the wing right here i don't want to show my boob but it goes a little, this is my boob. So it goes under the boob a little bit, just that part. This part is the part that freaking killed me. That part right there freaking killed me. And then it was kind of awkward <laughs> trying to show this without showing too much. But anyways, that's the tattoo. And the wings if anybody's wondering like everything's supposed to be like that um the way it is like not filled in but anyways and then the writing like i said it's not like an a1 you know i didn't go to like the most expensive shop i'm fine with it like you know what i mean i'm fine with it i like it a lot though but my next one like i said if i can remember i'm gonna try to put a picture somewhere i'm still new to editing and all that so we'll see how it works out if i don't do it i'm sorry but i'm gonna try to put a picture of me getting this tattoo like i have a good picture of like me laying there with my face probably the part where she was under my boob but um i'll try to put a picture and then i'll put a picture of the tattoo i'm thinking that i'm gonna get because um i'm gonna I'm sorry, get it. my video just stopped but <laughs> anyway right under i'm gonna get my next tattoo um on my forearm like right under the whatever you, I can't think what you call it, the little crease right there. But I'll try to put a picture of the tattoo I'm gonna get and like where it's at on this, the model that um, I found the picture of. I I was kind of torn because like there's like three things I really want. This, the one I'm gonna get, that's, that's my option one, my choice, my number one choice. And then I, there's this really cool like lion, half face lion. It's not too detailed at all because I don't want to get anything really detailed, but that, and I might just get that later on. And then I really do at some point, I want a bracelet, like a tattoo bracelet, but not like a charm, like it's a, like a rose bracelet. It's kind of like made out of flowers. It's really pretty. But 
yeah so i'll probably end that video this video right here so i hope you guys enjoyed um yeah so thank you guys